population of the pests. So yep. you need to have proper cultural controls, proper use of um, as inputs, etc. Okay, thanks, Keith. Hong Mei, thank you so much for your presentation. Um, we'll definitely be sharing all those materials, and I'd just like to really give you a special thanks for coming along and sharing your expertise. So thanks, Hong Mei. I, and you may have some Q&As, questions in there. If you could answer those um, in writing, that would be great. And I'd really like to introduce our next speaker because we really, am, I, I want to give uh, this person lots of time because it's an excellent presentation um, that has been prepared for our last uh, uh, presentation of the day. Uh, Dr. Liu or Professor Liu, would you like to share your screen and um, start your presentation? Okay. Okay, good afternoon and good morning. So thanks to Alison also, all the audience. My name is uh, Liu Jianhua. I work for the Chongqing Jibixing Bioengineering Company. Uh, it's my pleasure to share with uh, all the videos the functions and the applications of broad spectrum biopesticides. Metalizen and Isopia CQM A421 for controlling for amyvore. In my presentation, uh, we have uh, three parts. Part one, functions of metalizen and Isopia CQM A421. Part two, application of CQM A421 to control uh, FAW of corn. Part three, mass production of CKMA2421 in our company. This uh, part one, function of metalism and isoply CKMA421. Uh, our strategy for isolating a broad spectrum, uh, so to screen for a broad spectrum strain, with no adverse effect on natural enemies of rice paste. So a broad spectrum strain, metalism and isoplay CQMA41 was selected from over 1,000 isolates, could infect uh, most species of rice insect paste with no adverse effect on dry dragonflies, uh, parasitic uh, vespers, spiders, and other natural enemies. These uh, dragonflies, some um, vespers, this is the main pest. Um, the host range of uh, CQMA41, it uh, can infect uh, seven orders of insect paste. Also have uh, infested with the activity to nematodes. The seven orders uh, include Autoptera, Diptera, Dysemoptera, Hymenoptera, Idoptera, Coleoptera, Hemiptera. So many species can infest it. These are some uh, uh, examples. The insect paste infested by the CQMA41 in all the seven orders of insect paste. CQMA41 can infest uh, uh, various forms of insect paste on the eggs, larvae, pupil, adults. So it could control insect paste at various growth stages. Uh, I think uh, mostly 
uh, effectively for the uh, larvae and uh, the eggs. We have a full formulation of the CKMA421. All the four formulations uh, have been registered uh, in China as the biopesticides. So we have four kind of products. One is the uh, oil dispersion, the granular, also the vegetable uh, powder, also the cockroach, uh, cockroach bait. Part two, applications of uh, CKMA421 to control uh, FAW of coal. Uh, in the indoor infested uh, test, yeah, the CKMA421 have uh, the activity against the different instances of uh, level of FAW. So uh, it had uh, infested activities against uh, the first or second instar of young larvae of FAW with a mortality of 30% to 40%. CQMA41 can infest the pupa of FAW to decrease its reproductive ability. So the metabolism could effectively infect the pupa of four army worm causing melanization death and the reduction of eclosion rate. The impact of CKMA421 infestation on the egg hatching and the larvae survival of FAW, um, it reduces the hatchability of eggs and make the newly hatched larvae to die soon. The mixed uh, CKMA421 with uh, BT uh, enhanced uh, the infesting activity on foil armyworm. So the mixed uh, application of uh, CKMA421 and the BT had the uh, obvious uh, synergistic effect, which can effectively control the secondary star larvae of uh, FAW. So this uh, very high uh, mobility with uh, the combination application, both uh, CQMA41 plus uh, BT. We use uh, CQMA41 to plus the chemical uh, pesticides to control uh, four army worm on corn in uh, Pua, Yunnan, 2019. So we use the dosage, 80 milliliter of CKMA421 OD uh, plus uh, eight milliliter of chlorine trainer approval for uh, every 667 square meters by spraying. The um, result, the FAW was effectively controlled without the further infestation. After the early application on the, uh, of the combination of CKMA421 plus uh, chlorine trainer plural on 2nd July, this is the before trial, this is the after, uh, after the application of the CKMA41 plus the chemicals. 
Uh, we also have uh, the trial in um, Qianjiang, Chongqing. Also use the uh, CQMA 41 plus uh, chemical pesticides to control uh, for army war. Uh, before trial, 95% corn plants infested. It's very severe, the pest density, four or five larvae per plant. The larvae age is at the first to third instance. So uh, after the 40 days after application, the control um, efficacy of the combined application of CQMA41 plus chemical insecticides is about 95% on the third day after application. So we use the four kinds of chemicals. Some uh, is a full dust chemical. This is a half dust of the chemicals. Also, uh, we use the CQMA41 plus a half chemicals. So you can find uh, for the half chemicals is a very low uh, efficacy. Uh, with the CQMA41 plus a half chemicals can get the high uh, level of the efficacy to control the uh, FAW level. So for other chemicals have the similar uh, results. Imamectin, also the spinatolin, also the clofenlapia. So Combine the application of CKMA41 plus a half dust chemicals had a similar control efficacy to FAW larvae compared with the data of full dust of insecticide chemicals. It had an obvious synergistic and persistent effect to control uh, for army wounds. We use the CQMA plus the chemicals. We use the drawing spraying to uh, control uh, the uh, FAW larvae. Also for the, uh, to control to infest the egg, uh, egg batch of the FAW. So we uh, put in some uh, edge, edge weight. So we have uh, four treatment. The first uh, treatment is uh, CQMA41 plus uh, imamectin by manure, by manual spraying, treat two uh, CQMA41 plus uh, imamectin plus uh, adjuvant by manual spraying, treat three CQMA41 plus uh, imamectin plus uh, adjuvant, but uh, by drawing spraying, this is the check no spraying, so the result uh, showed that the adjuvant could uh, penetrate the carbon hair of uh, eggs, then enhance the, the infectivity of CQMA41 using same dosage of the combination of CQMA41 plus uh, imamectin, benzoate added with uh, adjuvant. The drawing spraying had the similar control efficacy on FAW larvae to manure spraying. So it uh, indicated that the adjuvant can effectively improve the control efficacy of drawing spraying. We uh, 
try have the trial in uh, Nanchang, Yunnan in 2020. We have the protocol use the CQMA41 uh, plus uh, email making plus uh, advent by the drawings playing also have very good results. The results showed it's effective to control the first insta larvae of four army worm by adding adjuvant in drawing spraying. After the, the three days after application, the efficacy can be more than 90%. Part three is the mass production of CQMA41 in our company. Our company uh, established the uh, largest uh, the fermentation system in the world for mass production of fungi spores. So we have a success in large solid ferment. Also, automation for solid fermentation, easy to optimize fermentation, have a huge production capacity. Having the largest capacity in production of fungal pesticides in the world, our company wish to have a cooperation from home and abroad, both in OEM and application of fungal spore and its formulation. So uh, some uh, uh, government also some uh, uh, enterprise have interest to have the cooperation with our company. Uh, they can contact uh, Mr. Yun Shen Long, our uh, general manager. So this is uh, his uh, email address. Also, uh, can read the, by this uh, code, Code can uh, contact uh, our company for the further cooperation for the further information. Uh, that's all for my presentation. Thank you for your time. Also, I'd like to uh, give more explanation if you have any uh, question. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, another wonderful presentation. Really interesting. I'm struck by the size of your facilities. They're, it's really huge. So I'm not surprised that it's the largest uh, solid fermentation system in the world for the mass production of fungal spores. It is very big, very impressive, uh, and very interesting your results as well in your field trials. Um, it's quite, I think, um, really exciting to see the um, increased performance that you can get from those synergistic uh, effects when you're using um, this CQMA421 with other solutions. Um, so that, that's really exciting to see. So I have a question here and I've got some other questions, but this question here is from Beatrice and she is asking, could you please give a little more detail on how you combine CQMA421 with BT? Uh, I think uh, uh, because for the CQMA421 is a fungal uh, pesticide, so it's uh, act uh, very, uh, a little slow. So also we wanted to uh, combine the, the CQMA41 with the BT, uh, maybe to have the faster killing, also the uh, expand its uh, effect. So 
uh, both together uh, show the, the uh, better uh, effect. And do you just mix, this is a basic question, but do you just mix the two together at the very start? Uh, yes, ju just uh, uh, during the application, we mix the together to yep. spray on the plants, yes. Great. Um, here's a question from Wilma. How many farmers or percentage of farmer, no, how many, how much or many farmers are using your product in, in China amongst maize growers or corn growers? Uh, I think uh, it's a very big uh, number, very big uh, area because uh, uh, our team uh, have the uh, research uh, for more than uh, almost 20 years. Uh, so for the company is uh, five years. So we uh, have a wide uh, trial, wide uh, uh, experiment uh, all over China. So for many, many kind of uh, crops, uh, rice, uh, corn, uh, and uh, uh, fruit trees, uh, vegetables, uh, and so on. So uh, it's a uh, uh, very important new uh, biopesticides in China. So our government to pay a very, very high protection for uh, this new product to extend uh, for the extension. So uh, a lot of province, a lot of uh, area to use it. Excellent. And so is it costly? I mean, in this case, I think maybe there's subsidies for its use in China potentially, but would it be costly for farmers to buy? Is it expensive? Uh, <laughs> it's a good uh, question. Yes, <laughs> it's uh, a little cost uh, uh, higher than the chemical pesticides, but uh, for some uh, uh, base, for some uh, uh, some base they uh, they are able to produce the organic uh, safe uh, products yep. so they cannot find uh, effective uh, bio pesticides uh, yep. so for the common uh, farmer uh, it uh, to new the to use the pure Biopesticides is a little costly, but uh, so we uh, recommend to use the uh, biopesticide with uh, uh, reduce the dose of the chemical pesticides. Yep. So it's not so costly. Uh, also have a very fast effect, a very good results. Also to stop the uh, resistance, the pest resistant to the chemicals. For some chemicals, uh, if we use uh, for a long time, the resistance is very high. So the, uh, it's not better for the farmer to control it. Yeah, excellent. And that, that was a question from somebody in the chat whether it had use for resistance. Um, mm. So that question has been answered. Um, and there was one question here. Um, there's a question here. Can we mix synthetic pesticides with CQMA421? And the answer is yes, because that was given as an example. A question here, though, from Wilma. Have you tested using just CMQ plus the adjuvant uh, against fall armyworm? Uh, for the adjuvant, uh, the only amy is uh, to um, to increase the infestivity uh, for the egg for the yes. egg of the FAW because uh, for the FAW egg uh, covered with the the hair, so we use the adjuvant the. Uh, CQMA, uh, the fungi can easy to uh, infest it on the fact the agar to increase the effectivity. Excellent. 
Okay, um, Dr. Lou, I'd just like to say thank you so much. I thought there was uh, some really um, fascinating information that you shared with us today. I'm going to give a brief summary now of everyone's. I'm going to spend a bit of time on yours. But before I do that, because I know we're two, one minute over time, everyone, but I'm going to be very brief in my summary. But I'd like to thank you very much and your team uh, for uh, sharing with us uh, those results. Really interesting um, and lots of key information that I'm going to come back to at the end. So so thank you and thank you to everyone. I'm going to be very brief for a quick conclusion, but just another fantastic session. There's lots of positive feedback um, right throughout, lots of um, hearts there and clapping. Um, Keith really looked at the increasing problems of soil pests and how to manage this um, through the development of a low cost, locally adapted sustainable production by control system using EPNs in North Korea and really um, emphasized uh, the uh, how important it is to increase capability across across stakeholders and the production system, including hands-on training. And that was sometimes a complex task needing multiple activities uh, for effective tech transfer. And that partnership was really critical. Um, Hong Mei um, really uh, emphasized those points again and came in giving an example in Rwanda, um, which also suffers from severe soil pest problems and emphasized that need to know where the problem is, identify local EPNs and isolate and screen them for the most effective uh, use in the field trials. Um, Hong Mei also talked about mass production facilities, how they can be established, and the importance again of training and communication to raise awareness and develop skills across the different stakeholders um, that are applying these techniques. Dr. Lee, oh actually, and I'll just say Hong Mei, I really enjoyed seeing how you um, drew in the younger